Hello there once again and welcome to another Expressor Mechanic tutorial. In this one we're going to be looking at the soft target node which is a system preset that comes with Expresso uh, and it's a little bit more advanced than the uh, target ex uh, the target expression or the target tag I suppose I should say that comes with Cinema 4D but it works in a similar way it's just that it, there's a lag effect associated with it so it's it's I suppose a bit more dynamic and a bit more advanced than the standard tag so what we've got is an arrow here and we have four targets at the compass points and what we're going to do is sequence through the uh, the targets there and make the arrow look at each target in sequence. Right, without further ado, let's get on with this and see how we make it happen. So in our Expresso window, the first node that we need is going to be the time node. We've got the time in there, which we don't actually need. We're going to set that to frame and get rid of the time. Let's just get rid of that there. I'm going to just view these at 100%, I think, just to make sure that we're getting all of it in there. That's OK. Right, good. So the next thing we need from here are a couple. Well, we're going to need a couple of logic compares. I'll bring those in, actually. Don't need them quite yet. I need a math modulo first, but I'll bring the compares in because they're going to be important. So we get a math, math modulo. Just bring that in. And I'll plumb my frame into there. Come over here, change the function to a modulo, and in the parameter here, I'm just going to put 30. So every 30 frames, we're going to get a zero at the output of the math modulo. And I'm going to compare that to zero, which is because zero is what I want there. OK, so I didn't need to change the function or the parameter of the compare there, and I don't need to with this one either. So I'm just going to bring that down there, and I'm going to plumb that into there, and you'll see why in a minute. Next border call is to grab in the monoflop. OK. So what we've got in the monoflop, we've got the trigger, the time, the duration. We actually need a reset here. And on this side, I just need the count because we're not going to be using the state on this occasion. All we're using the monoflop for is as a counter. So I'm going to plug the compare at the top here into the trigger, plumb this one into the reset. So when we're at frame zero, we're going to reset the... Uh, the monoflop here. We just give this, if this receives a one at the input, it resets this count value. So that's why I've put that in there. Next, what we need now, we need a, a logic condition. So let's just bring that in. Count value can be plumbed into the switch, that's fine. And I'm going to add a couple more inputs here because we've got four targets and we're going to be using this to switch between the targets in sequence. So our inputs at the moment, we've got a data type that's real, that's no good to us, we need to switch it to link. So we've got four link fields now and we've got four targets, so let's grab those in. I'm going to start with target one, and then go three, four, and two just to make it a little bit more interesting than doing a one, two, three, four sequence, that would be a bit boring really. Okay, so that's that part of the setup done. And we now come to the all important node. Now in the calculations over here in the system presets, you've got a soft target, that's where you find it. So drag that one in. All I'm gonna do, I'll plug the output into the target there. So that's allowing us to sequence our targets and get them into the soft target one at a time. I'm going to bring my arrow in and at the output here just give that an object port and then I can plug that into the object port on the soft target. The smooth will leave for now, you'll see what that's for in a moment. So we're going to bring in the arrow again and on this occasion we just need to give it rotation at the input there and we can plumb the rotation from the soft target into the arrow. And that is the setup. That's as much as we need to do. So let's see how this works. So if we just reset the timeline and play, 
and you can see that it does the job. At the moment, the arrow's a little bit on the sluggish side though, isn't it? It's a little bit lazy. And we can make that a bit snappier quite easily because we've got the uh, soft targets smoothing control. And let's just get that parameter there. So let's just go into here. We've got point 0.1, but we're going to take that away and put point 0.3. Now let's see. Ah, much snappier. That's what we want. At least I think that's probably best for this particular rig. So the smoothing control is your best friend. It's quite a useful thing to use. And, you know, depending on what you're doing, you might want it to be quite lazy or you might want it to be very, very fast and snappy. But uh, that's the way to do it. Just use the smoothing control. But anyway, that really is all there is to this. And the, I mean, the, the reason I made this particular rig was for a, a project I'm working on elsewhere. I just wanted to see if it might be possible to use it. It wasn't as it happened. It didn't quite work out, but that doesn't matter. There's plenty of other uses it could be uh, good for. Perhaps, I don't know, a weather vane maybe, or, or you know, have a think about it, see what you think you can come up with. Uh, that's what this is all about, really. It's just about hopefully trying to inspire you to have a go and, and, uh, and see what you can come up with. But, uh, but that's your setup. So it's essentially a time node. You've got your frame there. Plug that into a modulo, modulo 30. So every 30 frames, we're going to get a, a naught at the output. We compare that to zero. Once we've got a one at the output of the compare, we're going to trigger the monoflop. If we're at frame zero, we just trigger the reset on the monoflop to reset the counter. The trigger obviously makes the monoflop count, and that allows us to sequence through the, con the actual conditions where we've got the targets. Uh, those are fed into the soft target one at a time. And then the arrow is the object that's used to look at the targets one at a time. It's as simple as that. You know, it's a very elegant little setup, actually, and quite a nice little setup for doing this sort of work. So, so yeah, that's about it, really, for this one. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's given you a little bit more insight and a bit more inspiration has come from it. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.